I'm here at the Electric Vehicle Discovery Center in Toronto. Great place to come if you're EV curious and want to find out about all different kinds of electric vehicles. Today I'm here though because the Federal Minister of Science and Economic Development, Navdeep Baines, is here to talk about the proposed federal EV rebate program for all of Canada. So let's dive in and listen to what he has to say. Welcome to the EV Discovery Center for this important announcement from the federal government in support of electric vehicles. Of course, there could be no better place to make such an announcement than the EV Discovery Center, uh, which is, by the way, the first of its kind in the world. It's a multi-brand experiential learning facility and it's devoted to helping consumers learn about the environmental and economic benefits of driving an electric car. And of course, we have this available in a no-pressure, no-sales environment. We're thrilled to be able to host this event this morning and very much look forward to the Minister's remarks uh, about how the federal government is supporting Canadians in their quest to adopt electric vehicles, helping them both save money and reduce GHG emissions. Thank you very much, uh, Michael, for that kind introduction, and thank you uh, for welcoming us to your beautiful riding. Uh, Michael is a strong proponent of his constituents. Uh, he works day in and day out to make sure that he's a strong voice for them in Ottawa, and he also is a strong voice for Canada. He plays a leadership role on our Foreign Affairs Committee as well. And recently they put forward a report that he highlighted a few days ago on Arctic sovereignty and the Arctic Passageway and both from a sovereignty, sovereignty and economic perspective, how important that is for our country going forward. So thank you for your leadership and representing Canada as well, Michael. I also want to say I'm delighted to be here in the uh, Plug and Drive uh, Center. It's an incredible facility that I've been here visiting for the first time actually and I can tell you right now I look forward to seeing the vehicles and seeing how the technology works as well and I thank Cara and her team as well for their leadership and really promoting consumer awareness educating the public about the technologies that are available making them familiar with the zero emission vehicles and the opportunities associated with that as well and for me today is a very important day uh, because I was reflecting on my drive here, I spent a lot of time here nearby, near Jane and Finch, and uh, watched my father work day in and day out. And he did so because he wanted to make sure he left the world a bit better off for me and my brother. It was about building a better future uh, for his children. And now that I'm a father of two young girls, I have the same aspirations as well. I want to make sure that what I inherited from my father and his generation is something that I can pass along and make the world a little bit better for my girls as well. And so that's what this announcement is about because it's a reflection of the fact that we're taking climate change seriously. We're not just talking about our environment, we're taking concrete steps uh, to address climate change. Now, and in Canada, it's worth noting and it's, it's important to put things in context, roughly one quarter of our greenhouse gas emissions come from the transportation sector. So this is a sector that's very critical to our economy, but also has an impact on our environment as well. So, as I tell people, save your receipt, because as of May 1st, 2019, Canadians can receive up to $5,000 for, for purchasing or leasing, leasing an eligible new zero emission vehicle. So this is a great announcement uh, for up to $5,000. Um, and so these zero emission vehicles include battery electric, hydrogen fuel cell, and plug-in hybrid vehicles as well. These are an example of the types of vehicles that will be eligible. Shorter range plug-in hybrid vehicles will be eligible of up to $2,500. And if a vehicle has six or fewer seats, it must have a base retail price of less than $45,000. And just to give you some context from the current uh, vehicle mix right now, for vehicles uh, that are with seven or more seats, as I indicated, as a Chrysler Pacifica, the base model uh, will be included as well. So up to $5,000 rebate for that as well. And I saw that firsthand when I was in Windsor a few weeks ago as well. So we're very excited about this technology, this vehicle that's built in Canada, also eligible as well. But I know many Canadians will have questions. Many Canadians will have uh, some some outstanding issues and want to understand how this all rolls out. So you can get information on which vehicles and models are, models are eligible. More information about which vehicles are eligible can be found uh, by calling 1-800-CANADA or you can go online to canada.ca to get more information about this program and the benefits associated with this program as well. It's also 
important to note that as part of our zero emission vehicle strategy that in the budget of 2019, introduce a business tax write-off for zero emission vehicles that will allow businesses to recover investments in eligible zero emission vehicles even faster. So this is about making sure not only do we help consumers, but our businesses as well to, uh, to adopt this technology, to adopt this, um, these, this, the number of vehicles under the fleet as well. And our government is working with the auto uh, manufacturers to ensure that zero emission vehicle supply can be met and increase demand resulting from these programs. And we're also working very closely with the automotive sector on voluntary targets as well. So not only do we have a strong rebate program in place, but we have a voluntary sales target as well. And we're supplementing that with significant investments in infrastructure as well. If you include this budget and the previous budget, that's $320 million for charging stations and critical infrastructure that's going to be required as well going forward. I also want to highlight that I personally am very proud and excited about the automotive sector and the potential this has for our automotive sector. Because it's not only about building the cars of today, but it's about building the cars of tomorrow as well. And I can tell you we've seen significant investments in Canada of up to $6 billion in the automotive sector, which has helped fuel some of the technology that's on display here today at this centre and that's available to Canadians under the rebate as well. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I just want to let you know that we as a government are taking action. We recognize that when we talk about the environment, we need to make sure that everyone can participate in a meaningful way. And today's announcement of a $5,000 rebate will directly help consumers and Canadians play an active role in reducing their greenhouse gas emissions and leaving the world a little better off for future generations as well. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Well, thank you very much, Minister Baines, for your announcement this morning. And as you all know and you heard from Minister Baines, transportation is actually the largest GHG emitting sector in most provinces of Canada. It is the largest emitting sector here in Ontario. And we know that EVs can be an important part of the solution to reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Here at Plug and Drive, we work every day with consumers to show them how an EV could fit into their life, help them save money and reduce emissions. With so many great makes and models available and more coming out all the time, adopting an EV has never been easier than now. The incentives being implemented by the federal government will help consumers get over what our research shows is the number one barrier to adoption, that upfront sticker price. We look forward to helping Canadians figure out which EV is right for them, right here at our EV Discovery Center, as well as at our EV Roadshow events across Ontario and across Canada. And if a new EV is still out of reach for you, the used EV market is growing fast and offers extremely affordable ways to get into an EV. In fact, Plug and Drive just launched its own privately funded incentive program on used EVs right here in Ontario to make sure EVs really can be for everyone. Thanks again very much to both Minister Baines and MP Levitt for joining us here this morning. Thank you.